so here we are now this right here this is the the render I I was rendering when I when I left you and here you can see that uh, there are you know various repeating uh, patterns right here but I selected uh, these two frames right here or well, this one uh, these three and I stretched stretch the animation, made some working frames and tried to render some more of that so I could look into more details. I also uh, keyframed some of these values right here like um, light distance and light angle and uh, basically instead of you know tweaking the settings, rendering, tweaking the settings, rendering, I just keyframed those things and, and created a rendered movie so I could just you know go away for a while and then just choose which frame I like the best and stay with those settings right there so um, for some reason uh, here I animated just the height while I was already set set on the light angle and light distance and for some reason it, re it basically repeats the same pattern over and over again anyway so I chose uh, a you know after I rendered this, I chose one frame, went back to cinema, selected that frame and looked which which values were selected and I left left it with those values. So these are the values I I basically chose based on those animations, those renders. And you're not at all meant to exactly repl replicate the, these values where you are meant to go through the same process and choose whichever, you know, whichever uh, whichever result you you like best and you know go through the proce process and that is the way you learn you won't learn anything if you just do everything I do and the, the exact numbers I do but so this is this this is it so uh, sorry so right now we pretty much have our caustic set and let's look at this I actually really like how they look. Only right now they're very, very low resolution. When I when I tried to render them with high resolution, that they looked much better. But I don't like one thing. I don't like this big circle. And this big circle is projected by the one light in the middle. If we turn it off, now you will see the circle isn't there. So I want that circle to be less, you know, less intense not to have so much intensity so i will unlink that i will go into the expresso tag and unlink uh, whichever this one is i think it should always be the last one so there is our caustic strength so let's unlink this last one surface energy that should be it and now Let's ch just try this. If we enter a different value, go right here, you know, enter 20, and go here, it should stay. So I disconnected the right one. So now we can put a lower number and try it again until we have some pleasing results. Let's maybe increase the photons a little bit so we have actually something nice to look at. Huh, oh, oh, right here. I'm the photons I st still need to enter here in the rig but let's check this out okay that is taking a little bit longer but hopefully we can cope let's see and also uh, the, the reflections are nice and everything so it's it's a best match between you know the the caustics and and the reflections so let's look at this this is actually pretty nice maybe 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 I want to take the whole thing down a little bit so let's try maybe 15 for all of them and 5 for the for the middle light so let's try that again like everything else you don't want to over overdo the, the effect the caustics are there because if, it, if they're not there the image will look kind of dodgy you know the, the glass you will see that there is something missing and that the glass just looks weird as it's just sitting on that surface but anyway this is very nice I like this a lot 
I'm not sure if maybe maybe these caustics all are still a little too strong. I might try to put them down to ten perhaps. How much is this one? Five. Let's try to render that again. Anyway, uh, uh, you don't want to overdo the caustics. You know they're they're meant to be subtle as any effect you're ever doing. They're just these little hints at reality and. I see all the time, for example, people overdoing depth of field, which always can ru ruin the animation. If you just add a little bit of any effect, it's it's best. So I think this right here is very nice. Yeah, that is very nice. So that's our caustics. We're set on our caustics, and now we need to let's just turn the turn the caustics off so we can have uh, quicker preview renders and now we want to determine our light in intensity and also as we rendered uh, last time when we are rendering rendering the previews in this this view you need to go back to the main main one and use this as a render view just as uh, you know when we'll be doing the final render we want that one to be rendered Anyway, I think this might be pretty nice. Uh, perhaps the lighting could be stronger. Let's maybe try a little bit more. 225 perhaps for the intensity. Let's check this out. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a little bit too much. Let's just put 210, you know, just a little bit of extra light. I think this is okay. Now, 